This video was brought to you in part by the channel MTG Anarchy, where we take a look into the world of Magic the Gathering and throw a little bit of mischief and chaos into the mix. Welcome to the Anarchist Discussion, where we sit down and have a proper discussion on what's on the minds of Magic the Gathering players throughout the world. My name is Michael, it is great to see you here. Now quite recently, Wizards of the Coast has announced that they are making a return to the Master Series by announcing the release of Double Masters for August 7th of 2020. We here on the channel MTG Anarchy, which if you haven't already done so, I would suggest you could go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification to keep up to date with any new videos that do come out here on the channel, have already made a video about our impressions of the product as well as our excitement and our concerns when it comes to said product. And when we released the video, we honestly did not know how much the product was gonna be, whether it was a single pack, whether it was part of the three packs they usually do, or even a box. We did not know how much the price point was going to be. Well over the weekend, Wizards of the Coast, through Amazon.com, had gone ahead and released a price point for said boxes, boosters, and three packs that they were going to go ahead and sell. Of course, when we checked again on Tuesday, May 26th of 2020, the boxes themselves were sold out, but those boxes from when we checked beforehand were going for around $300. Well, if we couldn't find a price point on Amazon, we were going to go ahead and look to see where we could find an actual price point. And where we did find a price point was on TCG Player, which currently, as of Tuesday, May 26th of 2020, these boxes of Double Masters are going for $400 per box. Now we also wanted to find out how much the three pack multi packs were gonna be, what wizards would call them, as well as the single booster packs were gonna be. And we found on amazon.com that that three pack multi pack that wizards would sell would go for about $35, whereas a single booster, a single pack of double masters would go for $16.30. Now, when I saw those price points, I immediately did want to go ahead and make a video, but I stopped myself. And the reason being is I wanted to digest not only the price, but the product itself, as well as what other individuals within the Magic the Gathering community had to say about this price point, as well as the product overall. And two channels that actually stood out within this sort of concern was Tolarian Community College and Alpha Investments. Now, for those individuals that don't know about these channels, Tolarian Community College focuses on the game aspect of Magic the Gathering and focuses on the players, while Alpha Investments focuses more on the financial aspect of what's going on with Magic the Gathering, as well as does a ton of booster box openings. Again, both are great channels, which I hope you guys would go ahead and check out. When it came to both these channels, they both express the excitement of this product. However, with Tolarian Community College, they felt that this product was overpriced, while Alpha Investments felt that this product was underpriced. Now, if you want to check out why each channel says as such that one is underpriced while the other is overpriced, I would advise you to check out their channels and watch those videos. I think that they're really good videos and they gave really good explanations as to why they see things are underpriced or overpriced when it comes to double masters. Now after hearing both sides of why this product could be overpriced or underpriced, as well as other individuals thoughts on what this product is, as well as the price point and what their thoughts are on it. I came to the conclusion that this product is both overpriced and underpriced. Now on why this product is both overpriced and underpriced, for being overpriced, it comes to a few things. The first reason being that it does eliminate a large amount of Magic the Gathering players, especially in this time that we're living in now. Now a large player base who is within Magic the Gathering, who want to get into Standard or Modern or any sort of format, are usually just kids or people that are living paycheck to paycheck. And usually when an individual wants to get a product like this, they'll have to say, you know what, is this product something that I can afford or not? Another thing to really see is we've seen reprint products 
go for cheaper than what is being proposed. For example, what came out this year, Mystery Boosters. It was a full-on reprint set, no new cards were within the set, new foils of course, but no new cards, and yet it sold well. It did well. People still are looking for it. Even myself, I'm looking to get more of the Mystery Boosters because there are good things within those reprints that people are going to want. One example that people have seen that cards can be in a cheaper set is Mana Crypt. Mana Crypt was within the Mystery Booster set and it's also going to be in the Double Master set. And with both, you're having a higher print of it, which is less likely to get the card in the Mystery Boosters, but it's still there. It's still a chase card. It's still printed in there. In Double Masters, yes, there's a box topper version of it that has different art, but it's the exact same card, only in a higher price point. On the other hand, the reason why I feel this product is underpriced is due to some of the following reasons. The first point being that the cards within this Double Master set are higher priced cards than we would normally see in other sets. I mean, for those who have already checked out the spoilers, which again, go check out my last video on my impressions on this, those give the spoilers that we've seen so far, cards like Blightsteel Colossus, Doubling Season, even Mana Crypt are going to be in this set, not only as the regular versions of the cards, but an alternate version of said cards. Also, it shouldn't be to anybody's surprise, we all know, even if Wizards of the Coast doesn't say it, that they do look at the secondary market. They are finding these cards to put into the set based off price points that the secondary market has deemed these cards to be. And because these are higher priced point cards in the secondary market, they're going to include them in here at a higher price rather than just putting them in another mystery boosters type of product, which had high costing cards, but not as high as these. Another point to make when it comes to this set being undervalued or underpriced is due to name recognition. When it comes to a product with the name of Masters, it usually comes with the brand recognition of it being a premier premium product, something that is higher priority, higher priced than an average product being released. I mean, if you take a look at Ultimate Masters, originally that was also priced at $300, but not a lot of people really complained about it because of all the good stuff that was in there, included with the box topper. Again, that's something that this product, Double Masters, is doing, but they're giving you more value when it comes to the box toppers, as well as the rares or mythics within every pack. Now, in consideration to those points, my thoughts went, okay, you know what, if it was just this product, if it was just this version of Double Masters that was going to be released in general, yes, it has the Masters in the title, and yes, it does go ahead and exclude a large portion of Magic the Gathering players out from getting these said cards and these variants and that sort of thing. Ultimately, it is a master's product. It's supposed to be higher priority, higher premier premium cards. Honestly, to me, that would have been okay. But, and I say but because I have not heard a single creator other than us here on MTG Anarchy discuss this when we saw our first impressions. There is going to be a VIP version of this product. What this means is that how they're treating standard boxes when it comes to Theros Beyond Death or Ikoria Lair Behemoths with their collectors, they're doing the exact same thing for Double Masters. Which if we were looking at the three to now $400 price point that people are looking for for these boxes, they are now, for my opinion, if releasing these VIP versions of this product is going to be worth five to $600 per booster box. Now this brings up the question, does a product like this need a VIP variance? Does it need to do what the regular booster boxes are doing now and have a collector's version? And that is a question I'm going to leave to you guys in the comments down below to answer. Honestly, I want to know your opinions. Does this product need a higher variance, a higher version than what the regular version is? Does that need to exist or no? Just let me know in the comments down below on that one. But to conclude this discussion and this topic, 
in my opinion, when it comes to the current price point of Double Masters, I believe, and we're not looking at the variants, we're not looking at the VIP edition, we're just looking at the regular versions, I believe that it combines both it being underpriced and overpriced due to the specific reasons that I made throughout the video. But with that said, those are my thoughts, and that was your topic of discussion today here on the Anarchist Discussion. Thank you guys so much for watching this video here on the Anarchist Discussion on the channel MTG Anarchy. Before you go, there's a few things that I do want to bring up. If you felt this was an enjoyable video, I would appreciate it if you could go ahead and like and share so that way it does get out into the algorithm so more people can see these types of videos here on MTG Anarchy. Also, I would appreciate it, like I said in the beginning, if you could do so, or if you haven't done so, or this is your first time on the channel, to subscribe as well as hit the bell notification to keep up to date with any new videos that do come out here on the channel on MTG Anarchy. And finally, if you are financially stable, I would appreciate it if you could go support your local game stores, especially with everything going on right now, because we all want to go back to a place that we can enjoy and play magic together. And with us being in the situation, the best way to do that is to support your local game stores. But thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. This is Michael with the Anarchist Discussion here on the channel MTG Anarchy. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and have a fantastic day. I will see you again soon.